today i am going to show a project called nasa mission control which is made by node.js and we have used the spacex api to configure our database and create this mission control project so what we will do now is uh, we will explore this project so it has three pages in the navigation bar built with uh, react the content is actually built with react and it has the launch tab upcoming tab and history tab the launch tab is for launching a new mission a new mission to a planet where life can exist or supposed to be exist and the upcoming missions are that which are already have been launched and going to launch in a few minutes or few seconds so these are the upcoming missions okay so these missions will be launched very soon and the history the history tells us that which missions were abandoned and which missions were successful so these missions were successful and these missions were abandoned so if you go to launch uh, if you go to launch again and we fix a date suppose 25th of january so we are going to start our mission or launch this rocket in 25th of january then we can select robo mission uh, already i think we have a robo mission in upcoming yes we can see that robo mission is already in upcoming so let's write something different let's say hello earth is the name of our mission and we are using the rocket type explorer is1 we can use another rocket also if you want but let's use explorer is1 and or we can also change this and write to falcon 9 something like this and we can select the planet exoplanet are those planet which have a possibility uh, in them where human beings can live or something like that so we can select any of this planet because all of these planets have a possibility to live or possibility to generate life so i am selecting one of the planets and launching the mission okay it has got deleted somehow okay 25th of january and we can see that our mission has been launched successfully now if we go to upcoming then we can see our hello art mission has been launched and it will be launched on 25th january on the upcoming 25th january of 2023 and these missions were launched on 2022 and so on and now if i abort this mission or abort any of this mission this will come to history by red color mark because this mission has been aborted so if i abort this mission suppose robo mission so we can see that the robo mission has been gone from here and then if we come to history we can see robo mission at down yes we can see our robo mission here which has been marked with red color because this launch was unsuccessful because it was aborted by us from the upcoming menu bar or something yes from the upcoming menu bar and we cannot see our robo mission here because we have aborted it by pressing the cross button so yeah this was the simple small project so we are fetching the data from the spacex api and storing it in our mongodb database and it contains two types of schema the launches schema and the plans schema and in these uh, two tables lo lots of launches and the exoplanets are stored and i am connecting uh, to these databases but from my visual studio code here and my mongodb url is this and i am connecting from my node.js and as i have no node.js installed in my system so i am running it with the help of a docker utility docker container which has node.js in it and it's helping me to run this whole project in a bind mount process so i hope you like this project very much